Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to discuss appendicitis and incorporate my story. I will also include the pathophysiology, assessment findings, and nursing interventions with a bonus on post-operative care. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. So your appendix sits on the right lower quadrant of your abdomen. Within your body, you have your large intestine at the end of the ascending colon towards your cecum is your appendix. So what is the function of the appendix? There are two theories. One theory is that your appendix helps store good bacteria that helps the digestive system when in times of illness. Other experts believe it is a useless piece of anatomy that is just there. So appendicitis with its prefix ending in itis, I-T-I-S, means inflammation of the appendix. When the appendix becomes inflamed, it does not allow for drainage and creates pressure, which can cause it to rupture and lead to peritonitis and or sepsis. Peritonitis is a lining of your abdominal wall and protects organs. It can become infected when your appendix ruptures and it can get into your bloodstream, which can lead to sepsis. So I'm going to shift this over to my story and share real life footage of what an inflamed appendix looks like. Let me paint the picture. This was about a few years ago. I was two weeks postpartum after the delivery of my first son. Keep in mind, it was a healthy pregnancy, no complications. I woke up at 6 a.m. feeling like I ate something bad, possibly food poisoning, which it was sudden. The symptoms congested of like nausea, vomiting, and slight abdominal pain that was diffuse. No fever at this point. A few hours passed. I speculated could this possibly be my appendix, but only had stomach pain, discomfort, so I decided to go take a nap. When I woke up, I had severe pain on my right lower quadrant. I did the psoas sign where you elevate your right leg and invert your foot inward, and it was positive. So it elicited this extreme pain, plus I had a fever. I immediately knew it was my appendix, so I rushed to the emergency room in a panic. I would say the biggest red flag for me was a psoas sign and the abdominal pain at the McBurney's on the right lower quadrant, which is a tip for NCLEX. Now, I'm in the emergency room. It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. They took my vitals. I'm 98 over 60. My blood pressure, heart rate's 110, temperature's 101. They draw my blood, a full panel. My white blood cells were about 16,000, which is typical finding for appendicitis. They sent me to the CT scan and they did a CT of my abdomen, and once they started to infuse me with the contrast, I felt this sudden onset of like shortness of breath. I told the tech there to stop immediately, and the rapid response team came, which is a team that helps with emergencies. They had to give me Benadryl to help with the allergic reaction and dexamethasone, which helps to decrease swelling. The symptoms subsided, thank goodness, and now I know to never ever get IV contrast. The results came back and it was indeed my appendix. I was scheduled for surgery around 7 p.m. in the afternoon, which is about 1900 military time. I had been NPO, nothing by mouth, and the RN infused IV fluids to keep me hydrated. I was also told I would have to stay overnight for recovery and possibly discharged home the following day if all went well. I consented for surgery and these are some of the preoperative RN measures. You always wanna make sure the consent is in the chart and signed. You wanna confirm that the anesthesia has spoken to your patient and it's been consented. You wanna make sure you complete all other admission requirements. Be sure to complete all um, blood, type and screen CBC. Make sure you get their BUN and creatinine. Check their basic metabolic panel, which includes electrolytes, sodium, magnesium, additional lab you definitely want those coags and liver enzymes. Always make sure your patient fully understands what NPO status means, and it is no exception. 
monitor for pain and educate about the pain scale. You also want to monitor your patient's bowel sounds. Use ice packs for pain relief. Usually it's about 15 minutes at a time. Never ever apply heat to the abdomen because that could rupture your appendix. Again, most importantly, another priority NCLEX question would be select all that apply for your patient with peritonitis, which would include tachycardia, tachypenia, maybe paler, abdominal pain, feeling restless or guarding with high, high fevers. Another tip for the RN before surgery is you verify if there's any dentures or partials that may be in place and make sure they have all their belongings sent. Um, so I went to surgery, the technique was laparoscopic approach where they made five small incisions on my abdomen. It was assisted through a camera and the surgeon removed my appendix through my belly button. Yes, that's my appendix, it looks pretty angry. I would be happy to say I didn't have to visit my nurse friends in the ICU as a patient. So recovery, for the RN you want to monitor for signs and symptoms of infection fever, pain that is not relieved with pain medication. Typically, patients remain NPO until bowel function is within normal. Then you can advance the diet gradually as tolerated. Now, let's say my appendix did rupture. I would have probably had an NG tube placed in my nair that would have been set up to suction. So the RN would definitely be monitoring for bowel sounds. I would have had a drain placed. As the RN, you would want to monitor for output every hour. Make sure the drain was patent and monitor the color of the drainage. Is it sanguious, meaning bloody? Is it serosanguious, meaning a pinkish color? color. Is it serous, which would be a light, clear color? Change the dressing as ordered depending on the surgeon. They may want you not to touch it for the first 12 to 24 hours depending on the team. This is a question you definitely want to address with the surgeon when handed off to you with the patient. And typically the doctor is the one to change the dressing for you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications.